I've been dreaming every night. The same dream. And every morning, the same nightmare. Strange. The fate of the multiverse. Careful, Stephen. This path exacts a heavy toll. Okay. Hey, everyone. We're very excited to announce that tickets are on sale for Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Get ready for a mind-bending journey through the multiverse. Right. We're talking infinite impossibilities. Things just got out of hand. And infinite realities. Ah! Get your tickets now for Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness only in theaters May 6th. Welcome back, everyone. Marvel just dropped a brand new Doctor Strange 2 trailer video with a bunch of new footage. We'll break it all down. It confirmed a bunch of theories that we had in the previous trailers, too. So we'll do a giveaway for IMAX tickets for the movie. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave all your theories from the trailer on the video. Obviously, the big thing here is them revealing Billy and Tommy. It's the same actors that play Billy and Tommy during WandaVision, Wiccan and Speed. We all thought that they were going to be in the movie. We saw their toys in this alternate version of Westview in the previous trailers, but this trailer actually presents the footage of them in a slightly different way than that previous trailer. So they open the trailer and both Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch are talking about having the same dream, the same nightmare every single night. Now, they're kind of talking about nightmares, but they use the dream song. Like, is it a dream or is it a nightmare? For MCU Scarlet Witch, she talks about it being a nightmare because she doesn't have Billy and Tommy, she doesn't have Vision. So it's her talking more about her trauma, it kind of informs why she goes so far off the rails and why she's doing what she's doing with Chaos Magic and the Dark Hold and trying to get a hold of America Chavez to get across the multiverse to find a version of Billy and Tommy. So even if you don't agree with what she's doing, and Doctor Strange probably will not, like please don't do this Wanda, this is bad, you at least sympathize with why she's doing it. But what I think is going on in this brand new trailer with the footage of Billy and Tommy is that when she talks about it being a nightmare, it sort of juxtaposes the voiceover dialogue with a version of her just wearing plain clothes, kind of dropping to her knees and then grabbing hold of both of them. I think that this is actually a nightmare or the dream that the MCU Scarlet Witch is having. This isn't happening in real life. The same nightmare. In the previous trailer, you see a version of another Scarlet Witch grabbing hold of MCU Scarlet Witch's face as she falls on the ground and is crying, like there's actually two of them in this scene. So I think that footage in the other trailer is a completely different scene of this one of her falling to her knees grabbing actual Billy and Tommy that we see. Because later in the trailer, you also see that alternate version of Scarlet Witch in the plain clothes just go completely nuts. She doesn't look exactly like a zombie, but she kind of looks like she's either being controlled or she's just completely lost it and is going to kill every single person that she finds in this multiverse Illuminati base. The look on her face just seems kind of haunted as she's coming for America Chavez, so it's not totally clear if the variant goes off the rails on her own or if she's being controlled somehow by the chaos magic and the dark hold from MCU Scarlet Witch. We see a little more footage of America Chavez, Wong, and Doctor Strange fighting on the street with that version of Gargantos or Shumagorth, whatever you want to call him. He looks a little bit more like Shumagorth, but I think because of copyright IP reasons, they have to call him something different. Gargantos is kind of like a really small, one-off, obscure villain from the Namor comics that they never really use that much, so I think they're just using his name for this version of Shumagorth, just for copyright reasons. Technically, the Shumagorth name actually originated in the Conan comics in the Hyborian Age IP, and Marvel doesn't have access to that right now. There's a lot of weird crossover with old school Doctor Strange stuff, really deep cuts, and old school Conan stuff. If you're a longtime comic book reader, you probably know what I'm talking about. 
But part of the idea with Billy and Tommy in the movie is that obviously, like I said, Scarlet Witch is looking for a version of them. My early theory right now, though, is that as off the rails as she will go during the movie, something is going to have to bring her back from the complete edge of darkness. Like, they don't want to throw her under the bus. Kevin Feige said that she's a really big deal during Marvel Phase 4 and Marvel Phase 5. I think part of the idea during the movie, early theory, is that it'll be this alternate version of Billy and Tommy. If it is an alternate version, maybe it's the original version in some twisty kind of way. But they'll probably be the ones to save our MCU Scarlet Witch from herself, so to speak. But if it wasn't clear what's actually going on here, I believe America Chavez actually enters the story because she's already in the process of being chased by this giant Garganto Shumagorth looking creature. And that's how she winds up crossing paths with our version of Doctor Strange and Wong and looks to them for help. One of the weird things that Marvel is doing in this movie is the way that they present the idea of the multiverse and traveling physically between different dimensions. Even though we've seen the Avengers travel all over the timeline, we just saw the Loki series, we saw a bunch of different timelines. Bunch of different Kangs from a bunch of fully alternate universes. Remember, if a timeline grows to be big enough with enough branches, it becomes a fully alternate universe. We also saw MCU Doctor Strange go on a magical tour of the multiverse during the first movie. Technically, he was traveling across different dimensions, though. The important distinction is that when you travel across different universes, your physical body doesn't really change that much. It's like each dimension has their own multiverse. So when you travel between universes inside the regular third dimension where we all exist, things are relatively similar. But when you travel across different dimensions, your fundamental reality, like the way you exist, changes. Like in the trailer, it looks like America Chavez also takes them across different dimensions because they travel to an animated universe, which is vastly different from the normal reality. They also travel across what looks like this block-based dimension where they kind of turn into block forms of themselves. The way Marvel is explaining this after the events of Spider-Man No Way Home is that Doctor Strange still does not fully understand how to physically travel between different universes. Like he couldn't just open a portal to the other universe where Tobey Maguire or where Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man lives. That's kind of where America Chavez and the Darkhold come in. I believe the spell that he's weaving with the Darkhold, like it looks like he's weaving chaos magic because he's using the Darkhold, because previously we only thought the Scarlet Witch could do that. Is there some sort of forbidden spell in the Darkhold that he uses to try and fix things to prevent the multiverse from going crazy, but it only winds up making things worse. The way they explain America Chavez's character, if you know her powers, she's basically able to punch holes through different dimensions, different universes, like it's no big deal, as if it's kind of like a mutant ability. The way that Marvel explains it, right now in the MCU, most of the other characters cannot do that. Like, MCU Scarlet Witch, as powerful as she is with chaos magic, still needs America Chavez to physically be able to travel between one universe and another to go find that version of Billy and Tommy. We see a little more footage of Defender Strange in a couple different scenes before he turns into a zombie, or a Marvel zombie, however you want to think about him. It looks like he's crashing through one of America Chavez's portals while she's busy being manipulated by this giant creature that looks like it's being controlled by chaos magic. There's one of Scarlet Witch that looks like she's fighting with the team, like she's fighting with Wong. They turn to face something, and there's these two giant monsters behind them that look like they're from the Darkhold or from the temple being controlled by chaos magic somehow. All the markings inside this temple over the walls are the same markings that are on the Darkhold. So it just seems like some sort of locus of power that Scarlet Witch takes them to so that she can use the Darkhold power here to travel between different dimensions. But then during a different part of the trailer, there's this other shot of Scarlet Witch turning around like she's got black around her eye, she's got black on her fingertips, the way you would see on Agatha Harkness, which usually means that she's been doing something really, really bad. So if you saw the last trailer, the funny thing that they did is they were very misleading. They made it seem like Doctor Strange was recruiting her to be part of their new Avengers team. Like, ah, oh, it'll go a long way to getting you back on the lunchbox. When this trailer seems way more honest about what she's doing. Like, I have this nightmare every single night. Things are going off the rails and it shows a bunch of footage of her just having these nightmares of Billy and Tommy. Whereas the last trailer made her seem like more of a good character. They were kind of trying to hide all this crazy Scarlet Witch stuff. In this Ultron robot variant running through the room like the other variant of Scarlet Witch has already started to go ham on the entire multiverse Illuminati base. That's what that whole big fight with that variant of Captain Marvel is, the Maria Rambeau Captain Marvel variant. And when it seems like she goes supernova here, this actually seems like this Scarlet Witch variant just getting ready to completely destroy the base with this giant eruption of chaos magic. So RIP multiverse Illuminati, everyone pour one out for them. Then probably the other biggest reveal of this new trailer is our MCU Doctor Strange fighting the Sinister Strange variant who full-on grows a third eye in his forehead as they go at each other. 
Sam Raimi and the producers did explain that he's meant to be kind of like the version of Doctor Strange Supreme from What If, but he's not meant to be the exact same version. It was a little bit confusion about that when the earlier trailers dropped. They said that they hoped that their version was up to the same task as the original one from What If, so it's a similar type of backstory, like he probably tried to save his reality, then just crossed way too many lines and got way too powerful and went way too dark in the process. If you spotted any other easter eggs in the trailer that I didn't talk about in the video, just write them below in the comments. There'll be at least one or two more trailers before the movie gets here. I just posted my full Moon Knight Episode 2 video and easter eggs, you can click here to watch that, and click here to learn all about Superior Iron Man in the Doctor Strange 2 trailer. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.